All right, my friend, what's your name? Rusan. Rusan. Could you spell that? R-U-S-L-A-N. L-A-N. Ruslan. Okay, with an L. And could maybe you could tell us your story. What, what you said, Tr Chernobyl, you yeah, had? Uh, I was born in, in 1994. Now I can hear the accent. Uh, yeah, 1994. Okay. It, Chernobyl happened in 1986, all the way right. to 1994, and still uh, happening to this decade and affected my spine bifida and my foot. Wow. My foot was rotated like a uh, like a golf stick. Wow, crazy. Yeah. So you were born when? Uh, 1994. Four, 94, rather. Yeah. And Chernobyl happened in 86. Yeah. And the, of course the radiation continued. Continued all the way through decades wow. and centuries. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're right off the highway here, so it's yeah. going to be a little crazy. but. Um, and you're, so you were born or gotten uh, worse from? Well, I was born in my mother's room. She gave birth to me and she put me in a, uh, uh, in a orphanage. Yeah, orphanage. orphanage. And she couldn't raise me when I was a kid or a baby. So I was in an orphanage at age nine. And at age nine and 10, in 2004, my adopted parents from America Flew to wow. Russia, me. So 2004, wow, they, your adopted parents came yeah. and picked you up? Yeah. Wow. In 2005, 2006, and 2007, my parents uh, paid a lot of money um, to uh, okay. surgery operation. Go ahead, my friend, after uh, we cut off, go ahead. Uh, when that happened, uh, my, par my adopted parents, my dad and my mom, uh, took me to John Hopkins and where John took Hopkins John Hopkins uh, Baltimore Maryland okay and, and my doctor was Ben Carson he, uh, Ben Carson you're yeah, kidding me yeah he uh, operated my spine bifida well that's great yeah. and after that uh, his uh, uh, former operation partners or their uh, his uh, people they operate on my foot wow yeah so you got the best care yeah and then, wow in 2007 all the way through 2009 all my operation was success fantastic yeah. that's great yeah so it, he saved my life uh, 15 years ago all the way from 2004 through 2000 and, hey ben uh, carson eight, is a great man in 2012 yeah because in 2012 um, i was kicked out of my parents house at age 18. yeah it was no you're hold on you're your, I guess your uh, adoptive, adoptive parents, parents kicked you out because you were 18. It's time to leave now. Yeah, yeah. time to get ten out of the years, nest. Ten years I stayed with my parents. It was long. My mom said it was uh, it was for me time to go. My dad wasn't uh, part of the uh, uh, part of the operation of uh, figuring out where I would end up. Back to Russia, or group home, or back to uh, be homeless. Yeah, so my So dad, you were homeless? No, no. Yeah, my, okay. My parents, that was an option. Yeah, my parents had an option. Their first option was bring me back to Russia or put me in the group home. But the third option, my dad thought uh, there was no for me to live at, at the house because he would drop me as a homeless uh, person oh. uh, somewhere in the street. But he uh, had a thought of bringing me back to Swanonoa and I lived in the house where, where my parents uh, uh, lived there for three years in 2009, in 2010, in 2011. They uh, put a house on the market and I lived there for about uh, three months on the day of Martin Luther King's uh, holiday. Okay. I was uh, moved out. My, uh, par my parents home called uh, my former teachers and they came over and picked me up and they took me in their house or their care and so and after that in 2013 uh, we have to plan a uh, section 8 housing to find housing for me to live right in, like a apartment not a house or a, a group hey, home, it's a place to live That's yeah right. so 2013 uh, we uh, signed up for section 8 Section and, eight. Yeah, it took and it's about, working out. Yeah, it took about like three months to do that because it takes time for papers. I've been through it myself. Yeah, and yep. And after that, uh, I went to to the bank to uh, get my um, my uh, what do you call that? Uh, 
a, a social security account. Disability. Uh, disability account. Right. Or disability, and you're one person uh, that deserves uh, to it. To resign me. First, we went to uh, DMV to get my ID, my license, my handicap ID to prove that I'm handicapped. Sure. And uh, at DMV, I got my license. At DMV, I got my Section 8 housing uh, um, mailed in to Henderson Mill Road because everything was in Grove Park. I lived in the uh -huh. Grove Park Apartments uh -huh. complex. Uh -huh. Then moved to Woodbend for about a year and a half. And I I split I split out with my roommate. She lived in Woodfin. I moved here in 2013, and I lived mostly lived here five years now. And uh, after that, um, my teachers uh, signed me uh, in the bank uh, bank account statement. I don't know how you say it when you when your parents help you to sign to a bank. Co-sign. Yeah. So after that, they helped me with that, and then. They helped me with the food stamp. Um, okay, great. Sign. Right. Uh, that happened at DMV. That's where I got my food stamp and my nice. driver, uh, right. my handicap ID license. And after that, uh, everything's situated. I saved half of um, $700 on uh, furniture and other appliances that I needed for my apartment. Nice. Yep. So, so tell us the extent of what you can and can't do with, uh, with your for, physicality. For me, I cannot uh, walk because Ben Carson said uh, of that uh, affected from the Chernobyl, I won't be able to walk because of the Chernobyl because my spine bifida oh, wow. and my vertebrae uh, has a uh, monk function of the uh, of, of able to walk, not able to walk. Because right, right. The yeah, that could be detrimental to your... Uh, uh, yeah. Well-being, yeah. Yeah, and after, and once he said, uh, once uh, Ben Carson said that to my parents, and my parents said, "What, what does Rusad needs to uh, able not to do in his future or in his uh, uh, health being?" And right. He said he cannot stand for a longer period okay. of time. He only could stand for about a minute and a half. He cannot uh, lean his back against the wooden chairs or any like wooden. Okay. Furniture, right? And you think that's hard because he do, he doesn't need to damage his spine bifida. Wow! And if he causes um, uh, like uh, falling, if he falls from a, a staircase or a ladder or a stool mm. or a furniture, he'll damage his spine bifida, and he could die from a, a, ble uh, a clog, a blood clog, blood uh, clog, uh, bleed out. You know. Crazy. So yeah. it doesn't leave many opportunities to uh, work or yeah. get around to. I mean, you're doing yeah. great with this thing. Yeah. Well, I, I had to get new wheels. Oh. These are worn out. Yeah. Look at this. It is super wore out. Yeah. I have to work, get new ones. They're expensive to get a Liberty bicycle shop. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Like so, uh, you get disability. Is that enough? Uh, yeah. I, oh, I okay. So through, you don't need uh, to ask for money, is what I mean. Yeah, okay. I get through by Asheville Buncombe County housing, like Section Eight or anything like. It comes from Asheville, and it comes here. It mails through the bank. Okay, right. It goes to the bank. I guess yeah. that's a safe way to do it. Yeah, that's the only way. Safe. Yeah, it's hard to do it otherwise now. Yeah, they thought I, it will mail through the mailbox but that's so dangerous because I'm in my 20s I just turned 25 five 25. months ago and and uh, it's you're a quarter to, century old yeah. like, uh, uh, tell your parents your uh, step parent or uh, life is good for you yeah or? life is good oh, I like hearing yeah. good it's easy for me to so you got a positive attitude yeah. in the midst of what pe a lot of people would uh, be crazy about yeah yeah my friend, it's nice talking to you, man. You've made my day. You have a good one, all right?